I think and I know that architecture cannot do all, but I also am convinced that architecture can provide the platforms for change. I think architecture serves for a very particular subject, which is providing a primary form of care. I think we have forgotten completely that. Me too, I'm guilty of that sin. I try to zoom it in a sentence, no? How can we create architecture that becomes a platform for anyone to create their own existence with the possibility that architecture does, no? which is protection and inspiration. I think it provides the shelter needed for us to exist in this planet, but it is not only that that provides, because we've proven caves are not enough for us. We're human beings that are more complex and we need to be challenged and inspired. And I use inspiration in a much broader way. No, I think inspiration, it seems like, oh yeah, I'm inspired by these beautiful trees. No, it's much more broad than like holding bodies to grow them. That's for me inspiration, you know? So architecture that does that to individuals is what we need to go back and regain that possibility. In that sense, I would think that everything would change, no? Because the cities are built for production. So the house is a, exactly the typology that works for the productive human being, you know, the place of rest for the, for the person who has to be healthy, fed, clean to go to work and produce. It's not other than that, no? So if we think that form, and this is something that Elisa Iturbe says very well, is embedded in the form of our cities. The way we consume carbon, the way we use capital, the way we use power is embedded in the form, physical form. So it is a transformation that goes from deep in, no? It's not ch just changing how we use carbon or how we use the money or how we talk about uh, who is included and who is excluded, no? It is about these stones. They have that embedded, so it's gonna take time. <laughs>